as you already know, there are tons of Linux distributions. But you might be wondering why I am specifically comparing Red Hat versus CentOS. The simple answer is because both distributions are two of the most used Linux distributions in businesses as enterprise Linux. A lot of software companies use these distributions. Recently, Alma Linux became one of the most used Linux distributions in the IT industry as well. But for the purpose of this video, I will give a small comparison about Red Hat and CentOS. Let me start with Red Hat. Red Hat Enterprise Linux is a serious Linux for businesses. The Red Hat source code is free, so you can go there and install it. However, if you want to use Red Hat Linux distribution from Red Hat Incorporated, you have to pay it. It is because when you get Red Hat, you also get technical support from Red Hat Incorporated. Many businesses choose Red Hat because it's very stable and reliable platform. But the problem is that Red Hat is expensive. At this right point, CentOS comes to play. CentOS Linux is an exact copy of Red Hat. So you can think of this way. CentOS downloaded Red Hat source code, compiled it and provided it for free for everyone. The main difference between Red Hat and CentOS Linux is when you use CentOS, you don't get any support. By the way, later on CentOS is owned by Red Hat and this is where they discontinued CentOS Linux. In 2020, Red Hat announced that they will not support CentOS Linux anymore. When CentOS Linux 8 is released, it's expected that Red Hat will support it for 10 years. But then they decided that they will discontinue CentOS Linux. It doesn't affect ordinary users a lot, but if your business runs on CentOS Linux and you may be worried about it because it's possible that in the future you can face some problems since CentOS stability and reliability will be under question. The open source community was not happy about Red Hat's decision. Therefore, they provided Alma Linux, which is open source, forever free enterprise Linux distribution. And it is exactly compatible with Red Hat Enterprise Linux. You can go there and start using Alma Linux in your critical applications. Frankly speaking, I would recommend it. Anyway, when Red Hat made a decision, they also announced a new CentOS distribution, which is CentOS 3. What is it? Basically, it's a development platform for Red Hat. Before releasing a stable version of Red Hat, all the changes, new features are developed and tested in CentOS 3 for a while. If everything goes well in CentOS 3 for a while, then the same changes can be implemented in Red Hat. I hope you understand why the community was angry about discontinuation of CentOS. Because CentOS Linux was a stable version, but CentOS Stream is not stable. It is kind of sandbox for Red Hat. Throughout this course, I'm gonna use CentOS Stream 9, which is the last version as of today. But you can also use the last stable CentOS Linux, which is CentOS Linux 7. Both distributions are provided by the Google Cloud. Anyway, I tried to give you a better understanding of the difference between CentOS and Red Hat. I hope this tutorial was useful for you. That's it. I'm gonna see you in the next video.